Hi guys, um, Terry here. Um, welcome to another video on matrices, right? Um, if you have not done so as yet, please hit like and subscribe to my channel, right? So when it comes to a matrix, a matrix is simply a rectangular array of numbers enclosed in a bracket. So this here, right, represents a matrix, right? This is a matrix, this is a matrix, this is a matrix, right? It's simply a rectangular array of numbers in um, a bracket. So if I have something like 2, 1, 4, 0, 1, 2, that's a rectangular array of numbers. And if I enclose it in a bracket, it is considered a matrix, right? Um, even if we have something like this, 2, 0, 1, that is also a matrix, right? It's a rectangular array of numbers in a bracket. If I have 4, 1, 2, like this, this is also considered a matrix. Now, when it comes to a matrix, we have both rows and columns in a matrix, and that is something that you need to understand very, um, very carefully because we tend to use rows and columns when we are multiplying matrices, when we have to determine the order of a matrix. Now, in this case here, I have a matrix, right? And we have one, if we count rows, we have one row here, so that's row one. If I have this one here, this is a second row, that's row two. And this here is a third row, and that's called row three. So those are rows. Rows are horizontal, right? Now let me use a different color here. When it comes to columns now, columns are actually vertical. So this here represents column one. This here represents column two. And this here represents my third column, column three, right? So every matrix will have rows and they will have columns. Now, we need to understand what is meant by the order of a matrix. Now, the order of a matrix is simply, right, written as M multiplied by N. And that M and that M, the M represents how many rows we have and N represents how many columns we have. So in this particular matrix here, this matrix here, if we check and see how many rows we have, we have one row here. This is two rows. This is three rows right so the order of this matrix is a three by then we need to figure out how many columns we have we have one column here and we have a second column here right so that's two columns so it's a three by two matrix now in the exam you have to be able to tell them what is the order of a matrix so for example if i have one zero two minus one and i want to know what is the order of this matrix all we need to do is to check out and see how many rows we have we have one row here, two rows here. So it's going to be a two by, and we have one column here, two columns here, so that's two. So this matrix is a two by two matrix. If I have four, zero, one, six, one, two, four, one, and I want to figure out what is the order of this matrix, all I need to do is to check to see how many rows I have. So this is my first row here. That's my second row here. So we have two rows. So this matrix is going to be a two by, and we need to see how many columns we have. We have one column here, two, three, four columns here. So this matrix is a two by four matrix, right? Now, some students, they get a little confused when you have something like this. Let's say you have four, zero, minus one, and you want to figure out what is the order of this matrix here. Now, we follow the same process, try to identify how many rows we have, so we have one row, two rows, three rows. So it's going to start with a three by something. And if we look to see how many columns we have, we only have one column. So this is a three by one matrix, right? Another one that gives students trouble is something like this. Three, one, two. Let's add an X one here, right? And you want to write or figure out how many or what is the order of this matrix. So first thing, we always check rows first. So this is gonna be one row. I'm only seeing one row here. So it's a one by something matrix. So we have one, two, three, four columns here. So it's a one by four matrix. 
right? So we need to understand what is meant by the order of a matrix before we can add them, subtract them, multiply them, right? So this is first thing we need to know, what is meant by the order of a matrix. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.